Welcome brothers, today we're going to be talking about porn addiction and your sexless marriage. In the YouTube app, go to notifications and turn on subscriptions. In the settings, go to notifications and scroll to the YouTube app and allow notifications. Now, a few weeks ago, I put out a video asking you to consider the things that you're tolerating in your life. And there are so many men tolerating unreasonable situations from things in their relationships to their careers. Now, tolerating and settling for situations that you can't stand holds you back and it often keeps you trapped in your porn addiction cycle. One thing that a lot of men settle for is a sexless marriage. Now, when you've been with your girlfriend or your wife for a long time, sometimes the sex and intimacy slows down. And there are also cases where sex and intimacy with your partner are affected by your out-of-control behavior. So your girlfriend or your wife might not be interested in a physical relationship with you due to your behavior. But if your marriage or your relationship remains sexless for months or years, and you don't do anything to fix it, you're settling. Now, after I put that out a few weeks ago, a brother reached out to me in our group about his experience with his sexless marriage. And he explained that every time he tries to initiate intimacy with his wife, she shuts him down. And this brother asked for more suggestions on how to handle his sexless marriage. And the responses that he received showed me that it's something a lot of men in the group are dealing with. In fact, I'm gonna go over a few things that you need to realize and remember as you start addressing the lack of intimacy in your relationship. Now, the first thing to do is to acknowledge your betrayal of your partner, if that is the situation. Because typically, women view your out of control sexual behavior as betrayal if you're in a relationship with them. And acknowledging this element of betrayal is the first thing you need to do if you wanna fix your relationship. So your problems with compulsive sexual behaviors create the idea and lead to the belief that she isn't enough for you. It doesn't matter whether it was just pornography and masturbation or if you went as far as stepping outside of your relationship. Your partner feels betrayed. And a woman will not want to be intimate with you when she feels betrayed. So you have to be willing to accept that your partner might not want to have sex with you for some period of time. She's hurt because you broke her trust and she'll likely relive that situation over and over again in her mind. Now, if you keep your compulsive behavior hidden, on the other hand, she's also in a state where she's questioning her reality. So you presented yourself as one type of man for several years, but acted another way behind closed doors. So she's going to feel shocked and traumatized for some time after finding out the truth. Another thing I have to address on the topic of sexless marriages is the importance of taking care of yourself. So another reason for sexless marriages is that in general, some women tend to lose interest in having sex with their partner. And it's something that nearly everybody in a monogamous relationship deals with at one point or the other. Over time, women get used to their partner and they begin viewing them as a roommate or a best friend instead of a sexual companion. And you might feel compelled to blame your partner for this, but I believe part of the blame lies with you, the man as well. See, usually men stop taking care of themselves after they've been in a relationship for a while. So they start dressing down, neglecting hygiene and grooming, letting their hobbies fall to the wayside. They lose their sense of purpose, adventure and excitement for life. So you must prioritize taking care of yourself, being the man she got together with in the first place. Take care of your physical appearance, stay ambitious, stay enthusiastic, stay driven. Now you might think it's too challenging, but it's not if you prioritize it. I've been in a relationship for 12 years and I believe that its longevity is due to my making sure that I stay on point in this area. It's also important to learn how to communicate your needs. Women with betrayal trauma are most likely not going to want to have sex with you for a while. See, they need to work through their feelings of betrayal before they'll be interested in even rebuilding intimacy. And that makes sense. But what about if your marriage was sexless before your problem with compulsive sexual behaviors? So for example, this brother who raised the question mentioned that his marriage was sexless for five years before he sought outside sexual relationship. So he stepped out on his relationship, but rather than communicating his sexual needs with his wife though, he looked for sexual release outside of his relationship. Had he addressed the lack of intimacy before stepping out though, he may have avoided causing her pain. So some men avoid expressing their needs out of fear of vulnerability. Because as men, we're thought that being vulnerable is the same thing as being weak or needy. And this is a false understanding of vulnerability. See, this brother's refusal to be vulnerable with his wife and express his needs, it actually created a far greater problem than if he had just been honest in the first place, right? 
So both you and your partner also need to take responsibility. Neither you nor your partner is entirely to blame when it comes to a sexless relationship. When men struggle with porn, masturbation, and compulsive sexual behaviors though, they tend to lose sight of this. Sometimes we take responsibility for the whole problem when intimacy requires the participation of both partners. So you have sexual needs and you didn't sign up to be in a sexless relationship. Your partner has intimacy needs and didn't sign up to be with someone who has a compulsive sexual behavior. So your porn addiction might be the catalyst that forced you to you know, look at your sexless marriage, but both you and your partner need to take responsibility if you want to save the relationship, right? So in this question too, this brother had mentioned that he wants to overcome his behavior so he can give all his energy and his time to his wife. And while there's nothing wrong with wanting to be a good partner, you shouldn't overcome your behavior for your partner alone. You need to quit your behavior with pornography so that you can be the best version of yourself for yourself first. You're never going to stick to your decision if you end your compulsive behavior for someone else. So once you decide to become the best version of yourself though, you're going to follow through on your decision, right? So as you take action to grow as a man, the people around you, you know, from your partner to your kids to your colleagues, they're going to see the benefits and you become a man that they can respect. So brothers, this is from the Porn Reboot group, right? It's a question somebody asked. And our group is filled with men who finally decided to overcome their compulsive behaviors. We support one another on our journeys, we offer guidance and insights along the way. And if you're tired of settling for a sexless marriage or you're solving some other problem with porn and masturbation, please make the decision to take back your life and join us. It's free, there's a link in the description below, and I hope to see you there. Whenever you're ready, here are four ways that Porn Reboot can help you out for free. The first way is to subscribe to our channel and make sure you click on the notification bell to get a new video every other day. The second way is to get a copy of the free book, Confessions of a Porn Addict, Seven Secrets of Porn Free Men. You'll learn about my personal struggle and the lessons I've learned over a decade, as well as strategies for putting together your porn reboot plan and ending your compulsive behavior with pornography or masturbation. So click on the link in the description below this video. The third way is if you're not sure where to start, but you'd like to learn more about my team and I, if you'd like to spend time with like-minded professionals, entrepreneurs, business owners, guys who work in sales, consulting, or high-level jobs, men who are controlling their behavior, then join our free and confidential group, the Porn Reboot Group on Facebook. There's also a link to join in the description below this video. And finally, if you need help right now because you have a burning issue, your behavior with pornography is hurting you mentally, you're about to lose your relationship, you want to live up to your potential, you want to be an authentic man and free yourself from shame, guilt, and underachieving, click on the link in the description below this video that says free coaching call or visit elevatedrecovery.org and click on the link which says book 